What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the 2 0 x followed by a bunch of zeros D00A error that you could be receiving if you're firing up Rainbow Six Siege and you're not able to actually get into the game or not able to search for a game, etc, etc. No matter where you're receiving this error, this video should hopefully guide you through the steps that you need to know in order to fix it. Now, of course, with all that aside, basically this error comes down to a network connection issue between your game and the actual servers, usually just a timing out, i.e. you're unable to communicate with the servers or the servers communicating with you. So this could be one of two things, and one is more likely than the other. More than likely, the servers are currently down for repairs, maintenance, or anything like that. In order to check if the service is actually up, head across to rainbow6.ubisoft.com forward slash status. On this page over here, you'll be able to see the platforms down here, as well as the individual statuses for all of the different services that they offer. Simply make sure that all of them have a tick next to them and all of them say operational. Of course, the page will reload once in a while as such. Assuming that everything is currently operational, the issue more than likely lies on the second possibility, your computer and your network connection to the actual servers. Now from here, it's a very good idea to reach out to another friend who could be playing the game or simply open up your friends list and see if anyone's currently playing the game. If you're the only one who's not able to connect to the servers and you're receiving this error, then it's simply an issue with your computer, firewall or network. So the very simplest things that we can do is if you're running a third party antivirus or firewall is to temporarily disable it, fire up the game and see if the issue is fixed. If your issue is miraculously fixed, then simply make sure to whitelist the game through whatever third party software you could be running. Of course, if that doesn't seem to solve anything, a very good idea is to do a full reboot of your computer as well as a full reboot of your entire network. That means the router connecting you to the actual internet, whether it be DSL, fiber or anything like that, as well as any routers between the last router between you and the internet and your computer. So any Wi-Fi extenders, switches, etc, etc. Do a full reboot of absolutely everything on your your network and hopefully things should be fixed by this point. Of course, if the issue was fixed, hopefully it won't come back, otherwise you'll have to investigate into your network to see what could be causing the issue. It could be anywhere from a router's firewall to simply just routers having issues with each other on your network. Usually a simple reboot or power cycle is exactly what you need to solve this issue. Of course, if you're currently using a device that's connected to the internet through wireless, make sure that you're nice and close to the router that you're connected to and try and use a cable if possible. Wireless connections are known to be pretty unstable at long distance, or of course, when there's lots of obstructions between your computer or device and the router. Something you can do here is try other games or even trying a speed test to see if your network is reliable. Of course, if it is actually reliable, the last thing you could really try before going on in other directions to try and fix the issue is to verify that you can use the internet properly on your computer and then verify that the game isn't blocked in something like the Windows firewall, assuming of course you don't use an antivirus's firewall or anything like that. To figure this out, we can simply hit start and type in firewall. Then we can open up the Windows Defender firewall and you'll see a window similar to this. As you can see, I'm currently using a third party software to manage this, but let's say that you don't see this. On the left hand side, you'll see allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. I'll have to go ahead and fire up a virtual machine to show you this. As you can see over here, if I click this button, you'll see this list over here. All you have to do is look for Rainbow Six Siege on this list, as well as probably you play as well, and make sure that there's a check mark next to it, as well as a check mark next to private and public. This means that it will be allowed to communicate with the internet and hopefully you shouldn't be getting the issue at all from here. Of course, if you don't see either of those on the list, you can click allow another app and navigate across to where the actual game is located using the browse button. Simply select the game's exe and hit add at the very bottom. Then it should appear on the list and you'll be able to check the three tick boxes, allowing it to access the internet. If you're not one for using that method, you can of course head across into advanced settings and in this window over here, heading across to Inbound Rules first, clicking New Rule on the far right hand side, selecting Program, Next, choosing the program's path by clicking the Browse button over here and navigating across to where your game is installed, as such, and then selecting Rainbow6.exe up here. After hitting Open and Next, you can choose whether you'd like to allow or block the connection. Of course, you'll be choosing Allow, Next, next and give it a name over here, such as Rainbow Six. Then of course, when it's on the list, do the same for the outbound rules section over here. So I'll click across to it, new rule, program, next, browse, 
I'll choose the same exe, rainbow6.exe, next, allow, next, next, rainbow6, and add it to the list. And there we go, it's basically that simple. Of course, if you play the game with Vulkan, make sure to add another rule on top of that, program, next, browse, and select the rainbow6 vulkan.exe over here. After adding all of these to your firewall, there should be nothing between your computer and the internet stopping this from working properly. If you're still experiencing issues, I wish you luck on the rest of your adventure on fixing it, but these are the most common fixes that will probably get your issue solved. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!